While the nation ponders what Brexit actually means, the word itself is set to remain. Now a familiar part of our lexicon, it makes the dictionary. But like its definition, it's not universally popular. I think it sounds like a terrible breakfast cereal. It's so creative, adding a B and an R. <laughs> no, it's not. It, I don't like it that much. <laughs> you know. Uh, it's a, you know, it's pretty lame. I mean, we need a word for Brexit really, don't we, now that it's everywhere. We're not going to say, like, Britain leaving the European Union every time we mention it. Brexit evolved from Grexit, the possibility of Greece leaving the EU. The evolution has continued with a plethora of Brexit-related words. Remorse. Never heard of it. I'm guessing remorse on Brexit. Spot on. Do you like this? Do you like this kind of evolution of the of the English language? I do think it's funny, but also I think just because what it's about, I find it really annoying. Like it or not, one man known for colourful language says it's staying. This is the biggest word to enter the political vocabulary since Watergate. And of course, Watergate now applies to everything else. You've got every other gate you can imagine. And the same sort of thing may happen to Brexit. It's already beginning. We've got a vocabulary leading from Brexit. So Brexit is planted in the national vocabulary, despite the debate about where it leads. Rupert Evelyn, News at 10, Bristol.